um, or even um, so that's apology then there's a song that I sang throughout college that I wrote in 2016 but some people just played like and it's called daylight and I wrote it because I was homesick and I missed Kenyan sunrises because of the curtains my mom bought so they washed the room in color like yellow and blue and orange and when you're in the winter and it goes dark at 4 p.m. and it starts light starts at like 8 30 9 a.m you're like bruh i can't do this and then it's cold and the heater will go out and you're like guys i'm suffering and then it's just too many different things but more so it's emblematic of hope because no matter how there's a typical saying for um so it's bright it's always darkest before dawn but for me it's more that it represents there will always be a chance to start again always like that's how life is structured. Um, it doesn't matter. Like the day always, it always tides over, always. Uh, you don't, we're never stuck in the night. Um, and I think that maybe sometimes we don't see our opportunities to come out of it, but we're always given a chance to grab onto it, I guess, or run after the light at the end of the tunnel and run into it. So that's what it means. And for me, it was hope because I was remembering that like every morning, I, I can't feel the warmth right now or I'm not with people I know and I'm in a completely different environment, completely um, out of my element. But I know that where I was at that time, um, it felt darkest. But I know that if I can get through this section of life, um, who knows what the rest might hold for me. So. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I forget the count, but is it song title number three or four? <laughs> dark, dark in the night. <laughs> number five, there's always a second chance. So there's always another chance for a dawn. Mm -hmm. Dang it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, you mentioned that uh, daylight was starting for you at 8.39. So I'm assuming during this time, you are at uh, Berkeley mm -hmm. College of Music, which is in Boston, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And for those unaware about Boston, Massachusetts, and how the weather is like... <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's not even talk about it. Like, it makes... I, I feel... <laughs> like my friend posted a video the other day because she's there, and I was so sad for her. I was like, Yanni, it's up to your knees watching the snow. It is so cold, and people didn't understand. It's like when spring would come around and they say, oh, Oh, now it's like nine degrees Celsius. I'm like, what are you saying, you people? And with all the Africans would still be in uh, coats, and I'm looking at them like, you guys are out here running in shorts. You're trying to die of of a bad flu. It's okay. You go when the sun is actually out, then you'll see us with our coats off. You know, my people in my office would be like, you're still wearing that thing, and I'm like, yes, yes, I am <laughs> until until uh, like June, finally, there, yeah. yeah. 